Well, many celebrations are going on around the world in observance of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. In Bemidji, a peace march was held to honor his dream. Haiti Clotter has the story. Skin color isn't something we should have to argue about ever. Racism and personal struggles are some of the things Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. encountered as he pushed for civil rights and justice for all. It's also something that Michelle Rutledge can relate to growing up. She was told she wasn't black. I think it's important to remember not to look at the little things like, no, I'm black, no, you're brown, and going back and forth. Um, and it really upset me when I was little. Now as an adult, I can see how the um, little things like that don't matter. It was more than 50 years ago Dr. King gave his most acclaimed speech, I Have a Dream. His memory is still being celebrated to this day. Dr. King and his vision of nonviolence. And I think that's really the focus of this because it is race and it is culture. And so sometimes that can be a sensitive issue for people. And so really, I just wanted the focus to be that we're coming together in peace and in love. The Boys and Girls Club of Bemidji held a diversity and inclusivity event to bring several cultures and backgrounds together. Nearly 75 people attended to hear from a panel, dance, and share a meal in the gym. Several people participated in the peace march to show a symbol of unity. They held up signs that said, peace and love thy neighbor. It didn't matter the color of your skin or age. Some people were singing as they made their way down 15th Street, and cars passing by showed support by honking their horn. Everybody was kind of coming together to support everyone else, and I think it was just awesome. Sounds blasted through the speakers to liven up the mood, and the DJ mixed parts of Dr. King's speech with the music. Children also know the impact Dr. King had so many years later. He told the people that that wasn't that wasn't, he didn't think that was good, and he stood up and made the, made the world a better place. There is still work that needs to be done, but it starts right in your own neighborhood. Take ownership, get out there, um, ask somebody to run for office or run for office yourself, really just putting yourself out there. By the end of the night, the wall of dreams was full of dreams the community hopes to make a reality. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. And that was the first time for that event in Bemidji. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.